Hello everybody. This is Bug Out with Bug Out Adventures. I had did a uh, short video earlier today. Um, April 5th, 2020. Concerning um, me not being allowed entry into the AT&T store which is my service provider for my cell and my Wi-Fi and all that. And so what happens is they had asked me not to uh, videotape, so I had to cut it off in sections. But pretty much this is what, what's happened. I still did not receive uh, entry to the AT&T store. They would not allow me in there, regardless of the excuses or any what-ifs that I gave them, such as what if I am uh, uh, told by my physician that I do not need to wear a mask because of some pre-existing health issues and stuff. You're asking me to go against a doctor's order so I can receive services from this facility that I have services with that I pay for monthly. I said, what if uh, I've already had the vaccine and you're denying me services because I'm not wearing a mask, but I've already supposedly complied with the vaccine. I said, and Furthermore, I said, you cannot stop a virus through a mask. And I said, most importantly, it's against my rights to deny me services that I'm paying for through your company, regardless of what that says. It didn't say that when we signed that contract. Uh, so it's not going to work with me now, and I'm not going to wear a mask. There's just no way. that It's unscientific. It's unproven uh, that the mask even help with the virus because you cannot stop a virus it not short of full hazmat come on really so she was in and out the store three times total uh i had a couple things i wanted to do i wanted to upgrade and i wanted to get a wireless modem um for my for my for jolene well what come down to is she was the only one in the store that wanted to come outside that felt comfortable uh, serving me uh, in my needs through AT&T. And uh, as I was looking in the window, I told her, I said, so you're going to make me stay outside, but you're going to allow your employees who have their masks pulled down below their noses to continue to work? Is that what you're telling me? I said, where's the, uh, the justice in that? Well, she left and went back in again, came back out, and I was looking through the window, and all the employees had their masks pulled up. I did tell her that my name was not Karen. It was what my name is. And uh, so we continued to stand outside and talk, and I also asked her, I said, well, while you're handling my phone, I said, you're not concerned with catching COVID since you ain't sanitized your hands? Nor have you seen me sanitize mine and your fingers have been all over my phone and you've been lifting your mask up so you could breathe underneath it while you're trying to hold a conversation with me out here in the heat. She's like, look. <laughs> she says she has to comply to order to have the job. She had just moved from California. It was worse out there. And she said, you know, at least, you know, uh, she's coming out there and helping me. And I said, well, yeah, so far you haven't helped me do anything. I said, because I still haven't gotten the services that I needed. And um, so, anyhow, uh, we're sitting there talking still. And I mean, she's a cool chick. She was a cool chick. And I can understand where she's coming from. And she told me pretty much she has to wear that mask in order to work. I have to wear a mask in order to go in there and get services that I've already paid for. Well, we continued talking, and I told her, I, you know, I told her, I said, you are aware of Agenda 2030 and everything going on and uh, with that and control, and 
and, and things of that nature and your rights being taken away from you. I said, you're aware of that? She said, yes, I am. She said, but I have to eat and I have to pay my bills. And this is all that I've got right now. And I, I really fell for her because I thought, you know what? I could be there if I chose to, but I choose not to comply. So I see that AT&T is, you know, a global entity. Uh, I will most likely end up letting all internet-related devices go and only communicate via a ham radio or a CB, uh, which I have to get a ham license, but I'm, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to go towards. But I thought, you know, this is really just the beginning because in a year and a half, year and a half, that they've been requiring people to wear masks, I have not complied with them. Now, in the beginning, I joked around and I took pictures of like, oh, look at my fashion, fashion accessories in uh, December of 2019. I was just joking, but, you know, it turned out to be something that everybody who laughed at me ended up doing. I just, I can't do it. I, I, I cannot do it. I got so heated and upset that this is real. It is real. They are taking rights away. They're telling you what you can and what you cannot do, when you can, and how you can do it. People, this is America. We we have rights here. I've paid for the services that they denied to give me. You know, her answer, her final answer was that they could not help me and that I needed to call the help number, the 611 number. And to make things easier, I should consider going to the competitor of Verizon. I thought, you know what? I'm not going to do that because when I let this phone go, I'm letting it all go. And I'm not going to go through all that other crap all over again. Y'all know what it takes to get a phone set up and all that kind of stuff. So, people... Take heed. The passports, the green passports, the my paper to get inside, uh, to get services, you know, uh, all that. It's going to be coming. And it's pretty much already here, especially whenever you're being denied a service that you've already paid for. And uh, I just see is it not being a good thing this is the first time in a year and a half like I said that uh, this has occurred to me that I've been denied entry on any place that I've gone without a mask I take it very seriously I had my waterboarding instructor shirt on today so they know that I wasn't playing around but I guess she didn't catch that one so uh I'm thinking they can do that at the grocery store, at any grocery store. No mask. You're not coming in. I don't care if you've had the vaccine. I don't care if the doctor told you not to wear a mask. I don't care it's, if, if it's against your, your civil liberties and your rights, uh, our constitutional rights. We don't care. Make sure you got that mask on if you want services from us. So it's starting. It, it, it is starting and it's getting worse. And it's going to get worse. Because like I said, first time in a year and a half. And I've challenged this mask mandate for a year and a half. And they were not budging. They were not. Actually, I thought I was fixing to have to go to jail. And I told her, I said, look. I said, I ain't got bond money on me right now. I said, but this does really somewhat seem to be itching me like a lawsuit because I've paid for these services well it goes back to no shirt no shoes no service right to refuse 
you know, if I tell you to jump on one leg to come through my door to, to buy groceries or to buy a cell phone, you're going to have to jump on one leg, come through that door to do that. This is ridiculous, people. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, uh, it makes me even more strong in my commitment and my uh, discernment concerning of what is to come. I still believe that all this is in preparation for the Antichrist to be revealed and the implementation of the servitude to him be mandated or you shall perish. I shall perish out in the woods eating tree bark with no electronics, no nothing, period. I won't do it. I will not, I cannot, I will not ever comply over my dead body, under my dead body, around my dead body, six feet over, under, whatever. I will not comply, period. Anyway, this is Bug Out with another Bug Out commentary on mask mandates and the BS that we're looking forward to not.